Hey everyone, it's Ken Flerlidge here. Uh, as promised, I'm going to show you how I use PowerPoint to do um, some basic uh, graphics work um, for my vis visualizations. I use PowerPoint pretty much every time I create a visualization. Um, so I just want to share some of those, those tricks. Um, the first thing I'm going to show is, is these sort of custom titles. Uh, so Tableau um, Public in particular uh, only uh, supports a handful of fonts. So a font like this um, isn't going to be supported. It's going to convert it to um, some more standard font. Uh, so generally what I end up doing for these is using a, a custom image um, and I use PowerPoint to build that. So let me flip over to PowerPoint. So here's my image already and I'm just going to basically show you how to do that in PowerPoint. So if I could insert in text box, uh, then we'll type our text, 3D star map. We have some text here, let me increase the size. Um, the size of these is important um, because you want to get a, you know, a fairly high resolution image. Um, so, you know, it's, you, you don't want any, it to have to, you know, increase the size when you put it on a, on a visualization. So always make it bigger than you need and then you can always size it down. Um, so that's the starting point. It's just some text um, and then we're going to change the font. So obviously Windows and Mac come with lots of pre-installed fonts that uh, could work for you. Um, and one way to figure out the, you know, just that right font to use is to uh, click on the font box and just sort of scroll down. Now, as you can see, there are a couple problems with this. One is the box covers up my text, so it makes it a little bit difficult to actually see that font and how it looks. The other thing is you're doing it uh, one by one. Um, so a tool I recently discovered and is very valuable is this uh, tool wordmark.it and it's not loading for some reason. There we go. Um, so what you can do with this um, is you can type in your text, I'll hit enter, and the tool is going to, uh, I've enabled uh, Java to run, and so it's going to go out to my computer and actually look at all my fonts, and it's going to render uh, that text in the fonts on my computer. So <clears throat> it's a little, uh, a little slow and, uh, you know, laggy. Um, but it's really nice when you get this result because you then you can just sort of scroll through and see you know all the different fonts and find the one um, that works best for you. So if we go back to PowerPoint, um, I know that this font uh, is Saucer B, so I'm just going to change that here, Saucer B. And now we're starting to look uh, a little bit more like what we wanted that to be. Let's increase that a little bit. No, not quite quite that much so now we got the same basic um, text um, I think I've used a sort of a dark gray here um, and then the trick is and again I learned this from Josh Tapley the trick is if you right click on this and go to save as picture and I'm just gonna save this on my desktop for now Uh, we have this title image here, and I'm going to open it up in a uh, image editor. Just bear with me as my computer gets moving. The uh, screen capture software that I'm using uh, is slowing my computer down significantly, so give it just a moment while this comes up. All right, so I'm using Paint.net. It's a free software uh, for you know basic image editing. Um, I use it pretty frequently, um, and so the one thing I'll y'all notice you'll notice with this is that it creates a lot of white space around that. You can make adjustments to the text in PowerPoint, um, but generally I just come in here and select a, a, a rectangular select, and I'll draw a box around that. Do image crop, save it. And now I've got a nice uh, image. Uh, I can just drag that onto a Tableau uh, dashboard. And um, I got a nice uh, title font for, for my visualization. Thanks.